Hi there, it's Jeff here with our first calculation practice set. We look at some real data and ask some skills questions, quantitative skills questions that will be tested on the exam. So please do have a go at each of these. Press the pause button, do your calculation, and then we'll walk through the answer together. First question is on percentage point change. The UK unemployment rate increased from 4.1% to 4.4% over the year in 2024. What is the percentage point change? Now, this is on the specification. It's not percentage change, it's percentage point. The answer is it's 4.4% minus 4.1%. It's already a percentage. So that means the UK unemployment rate increased by 0.3 percentage points. That's actually the percentage of the labour labor force. Question number two, percentage change. Here's the question. Government borrowing increased from 117 billion to 132 billion over a year. What is the percentage change? Have a go at this calculation. Press the pause button. So here's the answer. It's the change divided by the original multiplied by 100 to get the percentage. So it's the change, 1 through 2 minus 117, divide by 117, and that gives the percentage change of plus 12.8%. Here's another percentage change question. The UK current account deficit decreased from 24.0 billion in the second quarter of 2024 to 18.1 billion in the third quarter of 2024. What is the percentage change? Press the pause button. And now here's the answer. Well, again, it's the change divided by the original multiplied by 100. So the change, 24.0 minus 18.1. The original is 24.0. So that's the change divided by that, multiplied by 100. And that gives you a 24.6% decrease. Here's our third percentage change question. Have a go at this one. House prices rose by 4.6% in the year to December 2024. If the average house price in December 23 was £280,000, estimate the average price in December 2024. Press the pause button. Please do have a go. So here's the answer. Well, we need to multiply the average house price, £280,000, by the inflation. Well, inflation was 4.6%, so that means we can multiply by 1.046. If there'd been no inflation, we would have multiplied by 1, so it would stuck at 280000 But if we do that calculation, we find that the estimated average price was £292,880. £292,880. Let's move on to question three. Uh, a quick question on ratios. In November to January 2025, there were 33.9 million people employed and 1.55 million people unemployed. What is the ratio of employed to unemployed? Press the pause button. Have a go. Well, here's the answer. The ratio is 33.9 divided by 1.55, which gives a ratio of approximately 21.9 to 1. Let's try a second ratio question. Here it is. There were 633,000 unemployed 16 to 24 year olds and 1.55 million total unemployed people in the UK, according to the latest figures. What proportion of unemployed are youths, in other words, people aged 16 to 24 year old. Have a go at the question, press the pause button. And here's the answer. The ratio is 633,000 divided by 1,550,000 multiplied by 100. And that gives a ratio of 40.8%. A reflection that youth unemployment is a significant problem in the UK labour market. Question for median values. Median hourly pay in April 2024 was £19.24 for male full-time, 
£17.88 for female full-time, £13 for male part-time, £13.40 for female part-time. Here's the question. What is the median of those four values? Press the pause button and have a go. Well, here's the answer. We have four values. We're looking for the middle answer, but of course there are four. So we take the average of the second and third values, uh, so 13.4 plus 17.88 divided by 2. The median value there was £15.64. Question 5 is about mean, mean data and mean growth forecasts. Here's the question. The OBR, the Office of Budgetary Responsibility, forecasts UK GDP growth up 2%, the Bank of England at 0.75%, and the Treasury at 1% for 2025. What is the mean forecast growth for the UK? Have a go. Well, here's the answer. The mean is the average of the three. 2.0 plus 0 0.75 plus 1 divided by 3 gives a mean growth forecast of 1.25%. Question 6. Calculating an index number, converting uh, one type of data into another using an index. Here's the question. GDP in 2024 was 2.848 billion, uh, sorry, 2,848 billion, so 2.848 trillion. If 2019 GDP was 2,760 billion, and that was the base year for the index, what is the GDP index number for 2024? Please do have a go at this question. So here we are. Here's the answer. We're converting data on GDP to an index number. 2019 is our base year. So whatever the value was there, we give that an index number of 100. So we have to express GDP in 2024 uh, relative to GDP in 2019. So it's 2848 divided by 2760 multiplied by 100. That gives us our index number of 103.2 to one decimal place. Interestingly, the UK economy is only just over 3% bigger in terms of GDP in 2024 than it was in the year before the pandemic. So there we go. Thanks for joining in this first calculation practice set.